Welcome to another video from HelpVid. In today's Photoshop tutorial, we're going to make another video to add to our Photoshop playlist. And we're going to make this image black and white and we're going to make a few components pop. So the colour is going to pop from a black and white image. And we're going to add this to our Photoshop playlist. So the reason I selected this excellent image here is really the red. The red really pops. Um, it's good that we've got two people in the image here because we're going to keep the referee in the background black and white. You've also got these spotlights coming down here. But ultimately, we've got a kind of black surrounding and that's really good. That's what we're looking for, that black background area um, when we are creating this effect. So if you like the content of this video, please hit the thumbs up, please leave a comment below and more importantly, if you would consider subscribing and share this video across your social platforms, it really helps with the visibility and growth of the show. So let's get started in this Photoshop tutorial. So what we're going to do is come down to the bottom here where we've got a background layer. We're going to, if you could right click and duplicate the layer or Control J, Command G on a Mac and it'll make a background copy. On that copy, we're going to come to the bottom of our layers panel, the fourth icon along, new fill or adjustment layer and we're going to go to hue and saturation. We're going to take down the saturation to minus 100 and that totally takes away all the colour from this image. Then we're going to come back to the background copy. We're going to select our erase tool. Sorry, we're going to stay on the hue and saturation layer. We're going to come to the erase tool and select a suitable brush size. And we're going to just start taking away the colour. Black and white, show the colour. We'll just do this quickly, but you could really take your time to get a better finish. I'm just going across the gloves. I'm going to do the shorts as well here because I noticed in the image there was some gold along here that was another really good colour to pop. So I'm just going to make sure that black and white is off of the shorts. Next I'm going to come to my zoom tool. I'm going to zoom in on the glove. I'm going to come back to the erase tool. I'm going to select a smaller brush. Smaller again. And I'm going to change the hardness here to 40%. I'm just going along the outsides of the glove here. Again, for this tutorial, I'll go relatively quick. You can take your time. I'll move across here to the next glove. And red really pops. A really good uh, one to do this on is if you've got a bunch of roses that are black and white and you make one of the roses red, it really stands out and it really pops. Um, when I seen this image, it really had everything in it with the, the spotlight, the, the other person in the referee, the black background, the red gloves. And it's the great Manny Pacquiao, the eight division boxing champion. So that's us. We will come back and we'll make this image its original size. And there you go. It really pops. And you can see the referees there, the spotlights here. I feel as if this image, uh, the red gloves and the gold in the shorts is really making this image pop. Um, so this is another Photoshop tutorial for our Photoshop playlist. If you look in the description below, you will see a playlist to Photoshop videos. Also, there is a list of equipment that I use down there that I've saved in Amazon. I'm constantly been asked questions on direct message and social media, either what microphone they use, what software they use, down to what chair they use. So they're all listed there on my Amazon page. So until the next time, guys, please stay safe.